We are counting down to the IndyCar Grand Prix, and as you get ready to head out to the track this weekend, do not forget to pack that sunscreen. This morning, Aaron Lish continues our week-long race coverage with the dangers the sun poses when you're at the track. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. So data shows by the time you're 70 years old, one in five Americans will develop skin cancer. So as you come out and enjoy the weather, maybe come here for the Grand Prix. We get advice from one skin cancer survivor. A suntan is the first sign of skin cancer is what they said. For Paul Kiley, he had skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma developed multiple times on his nose. Thankfully, it's all removed. Um, and now, of course, after this, I don't even go up mow long without putting 50 all over, so I take care of my skin. Dana shows skin cancer is the most common cancer in the nation. With people out for the Grand Prix and the Indy 500, St. Vincent dermatologists say take precaution with the sun's harmful UV rays. Doing SPF 30 or higher between the hours of 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock, that means wearing sun protective gear, that means not having direct exposure of your body to the sun, that means being on the shade, Sun damage is cumulative. Data shows only about 23% of lifetime exposure happens by age 18. So Kylie says make sure to continue applying sunscreen throughout the day. You know, you got to take care of yourself there. And, you know, and it's, uh, it's easy to get sunburned. And, not, you know, probably some of my worst sunburns have been in cooler days when I wasn't really paying attention to the fact that I was being exposed to it. So Dr. Obimi mentioned that you have SPF 30. There are sunscreens and sunblocks. The big difference is with sunblocks, that contains metals like zinc. So it makes an actual layer that protects you between the sun and your skin, but it's all based on preference. And make sure that you are putting it on multiple times a day, especially if you're sweating or hopping in the pool. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Aaron, thank you.